Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I'm reviewing uh, Return of the Jedi The Empire, subtitled uh, Operation Endor, which was written by Jody Hauser with art by uh, Jahiro Morales, and was released on June 7th, 2023, which I liked it. Uh, so far I've been enjoying these uh, Return of the Jedi one-shots a lot more than I was uh, expecting to. I wouldn't say I've been like loving, loving them, but I've definitely uh, been enjoying them. In this one, we see this uh, man named uh, Rilo Greneth, whose uh, family owns this company called uh, Greneth Technologies, which I guess is uh, getting taken over by the Empire, which uh, I guess beforehand they had done deals with them, but this time the Empire is pretty much uh, seizing uh, their operations and taking complete control. And because of that, uh, Rilo is now going to uh, work for the Empire, and so, he gets stationed on the forest moon of Endor, where the uh, second Death Star is being constructed. But, uh, you know, he's just working on one of the bases on the uh, moon. I don't know how long before Return of the Jedi this is, obviously shortly uh, before. But uh, his work, he's working with this droid named uh, EE7Y, just doing, like, tests on the uh, computer or something. But, uh... Through the course of the issue, we kind of see that he really isn't sticking in with the other Imperials. Uh, we do get dialogue from him, like, sending messages to his father, saying otherwise, but, you know, we see that no one really likes him. So, you know, he does some stuff to try to. Um, one thing he does is, like, he notices uh, when the other Imperials kind of looking at, you know, it was a, a, a male Imperial looking at this uh, female Imperial, seeming like the male Imperial might have a uh, crush on that female Imperial. So Rilo messes with their comms and like sends a message from the guy to the lady, kind of confessing that love. But the lady doesn't like it and uh, beats that guy up. I really don't know what Rilo was trying to do there. Kind of weird, but okay. Um... There's also a moment where he uh, leaves the base and heads outside to uh, get some fresh air and encounters an Ewok uh, who's going to attack him. And then a uh, scout trooper comes and shoots at the Ewok, telling Rilo to go back inside and that he's not allowed to come out. But, uh, you know, after all this and kind of seemingly not enjoying the work he's doing, he tries to uh, do more than ask by him by implementing some system or something, his... Uh, family's company has used but to do so he needs to access some uh secured info so he gets the droid ee7y to unlock it and it's just a, a hologram of the death star 2 i'd assume some blueprint or something but after realizing that he's like uh maybe we don't need to and he tells ee7y to uh, lock it back up and uh, never mention it again but eventually He's uh, set to leave Endor, but beforehand he uh, has to have an exit interview with an uh, Imperial officer who then questions him about all the uh, shady activity he's been doing, uh, and the officer accuses him of being a rebel spy, which the uh, shady activity is all the things I mentioned Rilo doing, which, you know, Rilo obviously wasn't a rebel spy and just was uh, maybe kind of just an idiot. <laughs> Which the officer does say that it's, you know, either he's a spy or an idiot. Uh, so, because of that, he gets sent to prison, which the uh, prison is one similar to the one we saw in uh, Andor on uh, Narkina 5. But uh, there he meets two other pr prisoners named uh, Kreb and Miko, where he tells them, you know, uh, what happened to him and whatnot. And how, it, you know, it seems like. That's what happened to them and most of the other ones at the prison. Just kind of, you know, arrested for not really doing anything wrong. So, you know, just like we saw in uh, Andor. So, yeah, you know, it wasn't my favorite of these uh, Return of the Jedi one-shots. I enjoyed it. I do wish it was maybe a little uh, deeper, I guess. I felt like it was maybe a little too surface level. And uh, definitely with the ending kind of calling back to Andor, which was a deeper show so I kind of and so you know I kind of just felt like this one shot kind of compared back to Andor and 
you know, obviously Andor is way better than this one shot. But I still enjoyed it. So yeah, but um, you know, obviously with the connections to Andor, I do always like seeing uh, things introduced in newer live action stories starting to get used elsewhere. So I enjoy that, but comparing this one shot to Andor, it's obviously way weaker. And I kind of wish it was a little uh, stronger there. But, you know, I I feel like some of my opinions here may be kind of trying to compare it a little too much to uh, a show I like just because it used similar imagery at the very end. And, you know, not really, but kind of similar-ish. You know, what happens to the main characters, I guess. You know, why they're arrested, which was suspected crimes when they actually didn't even do anything wrong. So, you know, I enjoyed this issue. Obviously, I feel like maybe I'm comparing it a little too much to uh, Andor there. So, yeah. But, my grade, I'm going to give it a B. So, yeah. But that's going to be it for this one. Um, Next, I'll review the uh, uh, the Rebellion one shot, I think, is the next one. I think that one's already out. So, uh, whenever I do my review of that, you can check that one out. But, in the meantime, check out my reviews on the uh, first three of the uh, Return of the Jedi anniversary one shots. And all my other comic reviews and everything else to do. But if it's ours, you know, catch you guys in the uh, next one.